Welcome once again. Sometimes we buy potatoes from the supermarket and if we don't eat them quick enough, this is an example of what can happen. So at the moment I have six potatoes and here we have a 60 litre container. And just to keep the cost down, I've decided to use some local ingredients. So we have some straw that has been used in the chooks pen. So I'm putting that in as a base on this pot. And then I've got some, because we live in a forest, We've got lots of leaf mulch. So this particular one is basically peppermint. So I'm lining that in the base of the pot. And then I've got some homegrown, homemade compost. So that's basically the pot filled up to where I would like to start and then I'm going to put a little bit of charcoal. Uh, we had a, a fire and went fire season was allowed, so I've decided to use the charcoal to purify everything, get a bit of carbon in there and mix that in. And then finally, we have our potatoes. So I'm going to space them out fairly evenly, the six, and, and we hope and pray for a lovely potato harvest. So that's basically what it looks like to start with. And then all we're going to do is to put a light covering of a little bit of mulch that I had left over from another project just over the potatoes. So this is the start of the potato harvest and as they sprout and grow then I will put in more soil right up to the top and hopefully we'll have a good harvest of potatoes in the 60 litre drum. Now also I've had another project going that I've been thinking about for a while and that is I have these baby seedling tomatoes that also need to be repotted so I've got three here and I also have three potatoes which we've grown from seed. So I collected the seeds last season, dried them out and then planted the potatoes. We also have three other potatoes and I haven't quite made up my mind as these potatoes and tomatoes grow, I intend to graft the potato shaft, uh, the tomato shaft, sorry, onto the potato. But firstly, I'll repot everything and I'll also grow these small potatoes into smaller pots to get them growing. So at the end of the day, we should have 60 litres worth of potatoes in here and if my graft goes well we'll have tomatoes on top and we'll have potatoes underneath. You see they're both from the same family. Anyway that's the plan and uh, we'll see how we go. That's Good afternoon viewers. Today being the 3rd of March, 2023, Southern Hemisphere. 
I live on a small island in the southwest of Western Australia, and we've been growing potatoes. And on the potatoes, we've been collecting TPS, true potato seed. Now, my intention is to graft a potato onto a tomato. This particular tomato, uh, it sprang up a couple of years ago. It's low acid, extremely tasty, good flesh. So I'd like to grow this tomato from the seed potato. I've already, um, prior to this uh, video, cut open three or four different seed pods. So we have a, a couple of hundred seeds which I've just contained in this paper towel to dry out. But I thought that I'd like to show you, I'll just put some glasses on so I don't cut my fingers off. I thought I'd just like to show you what's inside a true potato seed. So I'm just basically cutting open this seed pod. And there's a few little seeds in there, so I'll just squash them out and place them onto the paper towel. So my particular seed pods uh, contain between 70 to 100 seeds. The actual potato itself was basically a, uh, I believe, an a red to orange variety of potato, which I've grown in a pot. Uh, I'll wait another short period of time before I take the potato plant out and check how many potatoes we've had. But the potato has been prolific in its growth, uh, amazingly so. This is the only stock that we've got. And it was probably brought in by birds to our little island. And that's inside the tomato. So the objective is, is to get out some seeds and then to save this for our next growing season. It's a... Uh, as you can see, there's not that many seeds in here. It's mainly flesh, uh, which is good in respect to taste and flavor. Um, so this tomato has probably got less than 30 seeds in it. And the tomato seed is at least, there's a mosquito there, the tomato seed is at least four times larger than that of the potato. So there we have it. I've got my tomato seeds ready, which I will uh, dry out. And at the appropriate season, as we uh, go through winter, uh, the tail end of winter, I will plant these tomato seeds. I will plant the potato seeds, and then I will attempt to graft some of the tomatoes onto the potato so that we'll have potatoes underground and tomatoes above ground growing until later on i'll continue this video
So here we go again. I've had this uh, potato plant just down here in this greenhouse growing all summer and it's continued to just grow and grow and grow and I've got to the point where I'm thinking when is this plant going to die? So basically I've run out of patience. It had produced some seed pods which I've uh, taken off and in the process of the moment of drying out. This here is not a potato, this is a sweet potato. It's gone a bit rampant. So, and the other thing that I'm really happy about, the soil that I've used in this potato has been excellent quality. And I would imagine, I could be wrong, but I would imagine that it's full of wonderful uh, bacteria and worms. A sharp knife makes things very easy to deal with. This bin here I use for green waste and it produces the most excellent of compost really quickly. And just as a point of interest, the potato in here was just one of those regular shop bought ones. So the moment of truth, what have we got? What have we got in this bag that I've waited all summer for? Admittedly, it was a bit hot in there, but we do live in a cooler climate. We got, oh, what a tiny potato that is. And there is one of the, uh, there is one of the worms. I'll just use this little box for any potatoes. Very small so far, but it feels like it could be an abundant little crop. The beauty of your own potatoes is they're so sweet and tasty. It's worth the effort, in my, my opinion. So as you can see, this is well-rotted material. I've got some mosquitoes trying to eat me alive here. Well, that might be it. That's a bit sad. So the moral of the story is that the uh, greenhouse it was just too hot for the potatoes and I was expecting more worms. Uh, they're still there, There's, they're wriggling around, but uh, the beauty of this um, compost is that I will use this as a starter for my bin. So worm castings are going in there and the rest I will revitalize and use again. <laughs>